Hi, it's Murph with Where the Hell is Murph, and we're here at uh, Schumacher Cargo Logistics. Um, as many of you know, I'm starting a four, three, four year round the world trip, so I decided to ship my bike myself, and I'm going to walk you through the process of how easy it is to ship your own bike yourself from the States. I'm going to tell you everything you need to know, everything, you, all the documentation you need to have, etc., etc. So um, I'm down at the Schumacher Cargo Logistics offices in Gardena, California. This is the bike that I'm going to be shipping. It's my 2004 BMW GS Adventure. It's being shipped the way it is. I thought for a second that you have to disconnect the battery, but you don't. You just have to leave it as it is. Um, I have stuff in the panniers, which we're going to do an inventory of. Um, the jacket and the helmet is here. It's very safe. I'm leaving everything on it the way it is, except for the GPS, and that's it. Uh, Christian, this is my rep here, Christian, um, who's just going to explain briefly exactly what you need to do. So, Christian, I bring you a motorcycle. Yes. Um, now, if you own your motorcycle outright yourself, you just need to bring the title. Original title, clear. Original title, clear. Copy of your foreign passport if you're a foreigner. Copy of your passport. Or an EIN. Or an EIN number, which is an employer identification number, which any U.S. citizen can apply for if they don't already have one. I happen to have one because I had my own business uh, a number of years ago and I still have it. It's easy to get. If you don't own your bike and you have payments, you need to do what? You need a notarized letter from your lien voter authorizing the export. You need to be notarized copies front and back. Um, and a Power uh, certified, right? certified title history from the Department of Motor Vehicles. Okay, go over that one more time. You need a notarized, le notarized letter, letter. Authorization letter from your, ex from your uh, lien holder. From your lien holder. Three notarized copies, front and back. Three notarized copies. And a copy of the certified uh, title history. Okay. And you, the fee is roughly the same for each bike, four hundred ninety-five. It's four hundred ninety-five flat fee, current rates. Four hundred ninety-five dollars. If I were to ship this from Miami, which I were going to do, but decided not to, it's only an extra forty-five dollars. It would have been four hundred and fifty dollars for me to ship it from the port of Miami. So since I was riding out here, there was only a forty-five dollar difference. My fuel cost from. California to ride back to Miami was actually $300, made no sense, so it's really, really affordable to do. Now, from here, we're going to take the bike and it's going to go in the back of the warehouse. First, we're going to inspect the vehicle. Okay. You'll receive a full-on inspection report um, giving you the uh, current um, situation of the bike, okay. uh, status. Um, once that's all done, we're going to take photos, yep. which will be uploaded on our system, which will, um, you'll be able to download in okay. 24 hours. And then we'll bring the bike in the, uh, in the, in the back of the lot. Okay, so we're going to do that now, and we'll see you in the back of the warehouse. Very good, thank you.